Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF radio channel and um, this is uh, the first official video that I'm making and we're going to talk about the amateur radio bands in the VHF UHF spectrum. I'm gonna make a separate video of the different uh, amateur radio bands we have. So the first one that you'll uh, have in the 30 megahertz and up is the 6 meter amateur radio band. So it starts at 50 megahertz and goes up to 54 megahertz. And it's an interesting band because it um, kind of acts in two different ways. Um, it can act like a VHF, regular VHF line of sight amateur radio band most of the time, but with very high solar activity or with um, what we call sporic sporadic e-skip that are really intense patches of ionized um, atmosphere um, it also can become a bit like a 10 meter ambient giving reception up to several thousand kilometers away and I actually um, posted a video a few uh, about two years ago where I received a uh, CW signal from Mexico on uh, 50 megahertz. So uh, the 6 meter ham band is um, here in Montreal I'd say that if there's no um, sporadic key or no skip it's a very very quiet band it's very very little use here in, uh, in, in southern Quebec. So um, you can maybe tune in and uh, notice that there's like no activity at all but it's worth it to scan this frequency range regularly uh, because at any time of day and at any part of uh, the year you never know what can happen and you never know what you can actually receive here so basically the 6 meter ham band, um, depending on where you live, is not all from 50 to 54. Uh, some countries are go from uh, 50 to 51, some are 50 to 52, here in North America it's 50 to 54. And there's a lot of different um, modes used here on f uh, the 6 meter ham band. Um, in general, you um, can check for um, CW signals on the first part of the band starting at 50 MHz, so you usually go in uh, CW mode for tuning the band and see if you can hear any signals. One very interesting frequency also for single sideband contacts, and that I have heard many of them. If you tune from about 50.100 to 50.200, this is a part of the band where if sporadic E or some skip from far away happens, this is probably the part you'll hear single sideband signals, and they're all in USB. And they're probably what is the easiest to listen to when there's a skip that's going on and that is actually um, making signals propagate from far away because they are they tend to be weaker sometimes and the weak signals are the best for um, the upper sideband is the best mode basically for very 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 um, weak signals and uh, actually from 50.100 to 50.125 is what we call the DX window. The DX window is where usually faraway stations that want to talk to the other stations very far away will go to and try to uh, make contact. Um, I would say that um, there's also beacons that you can hear. Uh, beacons occupy the 50.060 up to 50.080 megahertz. And since beacons are Morse code signals, you'll have them in Morse code. So you can actually tune around here 
from 060 to 080 and see if you can hear any beacons. That give you, gives you an idea that some signals are propagating from far away. And uh, I would say that uh, starting about 50.200 and up, um, most of the signal, or a lot of them at least, are going to be in the FM. There's a lot of FM signals on 50 megahertz. Uh, there are a few repeaters on 50 megahertz. So maybe you have one of those repeaters, local repeaters. Apparently there's one around Montreal, but they rarely, they rarely hear signals here. And as you see, it's a completely dead band for me at this time. But don't be fooled, not, it's not because you don't hear anything that you shouldn't go there regularly to check for signals. Um, I check this band probably at least seven or eight times a week. Uh, sometimes when I know that we're in the uh, sporadic E season, um, I might check even more often. If you hear very strong signals on the 10 meter hand band on 28 megahertz, uh, you might want to try the 50 megahertz band because uh, sometimes the maximum usable frequency or MUF will go higher than 50 megahertz and then you know that you'll hear signals on the 50 megahertz band. So uh, 6 meter, a uh, mysterious and interesting band to try and um, if you listen regularly you will probably find that it's uh, one of those very very cool bands where you hear signals from very far away. So hope you enjoyed this introduction to 6 meters and uh, try it out if you have a scanner. Uh, even if you don't have a uh, you know sophisticated communications receiver like my ICOM here, um, just an FM. I've heard stations uh, using just a rubber duck antenna propagating when uh, you know the um, e-skip, sporadic e-skip is very strong. I've heard FM stations uh, propagating well in the uh, 53, 52 megahertz uh, range. So try it out, 73s.